What's up everyone, I'm Jake, and today I'll be reviewing my Milwaukee Packout Backpack while comparing it to some of the other bags I've used, including the Ultimate Job Site Backpack. If you saw my last video about my tool and packout collection, you know I currently store all my hand tools in my Packout Backpack. But before I got the Packout version, I used this one. Now my dad uses it to store all of his most used hand tools. At first glance, both of these backpacks have a lot of similar features, such as the handles, straps, zipper pulls, and pocket designs. However, there is one major difference. The job site bag is not packout compatible. The packout version has six integrated feet on the bottom and a spring-loaded latch. When you put it into the stack, the side with the latch has a gray stripe and the other side only has a black stripe, so you always know which direction to put into the stack. If you currently have the Ultimate Job Site Backpack, make sure to stick around until after the review where I show you how you can easily attach it to a stack with my latest pack. For this review, I'll be rating the bag in three different categories. Its features, the overall quality, and pricing. But before I give it a score, let's start by looking at the specs from homedepot.com, and then I'll say what has worked well for me and where I think there could be some improvements. Before I get into more details of my Packout backpack, I want to quickly highlight and compare it to the other backpacks from Milwaukee. The Packout version is the most expensive at $119. Then there's the Ultimate Job Site backpack, which has very similar features at $99. The older Job Site backpack is $79 and has similarities to the first two bags, except for the laptop sleeve. Then there's the compact backpack that is $69 and has a laptop sleeve and tool pockets. The Packout totes are also an option to store hand tools. I still prefer the backpack because there are more pockets and I think there's a smaller chance of things falling out if it were to tip over. Before I point out my favorite features and rate the bag, Let's do a quick tour of what tools I store in the different compartments, as well as some general impressions of the bag. Starting at the front, I store a few things on the loops, like the 5-in-1 folding knife, an ink saw, a rover light that I apparently need to get new batteries for, and a small ruler. Personally, I always have used the tape measure clip, and have found it secure, yet easy to grab. I also always make sure to have some snacks in a side pocket. I like to keep the front compartment clean and for things other than tools, but it's nice to see the webbing supports for when it's fully opened. I also like the hard shell for protecting things like safety glasses or electronics. The size and length of the sleeves were great for spare pencils and markers, but I'm sure screwdrivers would fit too. The front side of the pocket is very soft and would be great for an iPad, but unfortunately, my 15 inch laptop won't fit. I think these two Velcro pouches could be a little bit bigger. I found that a stud finder fits good, but I don't have anything else for the other one right now. The second compartment is where all the tool pockets and open space really is. It also has the exact same layout as the Ultimate Job Site Backpack, same pockets and materials. I use this top pocket for an extra pair of gloves, but my dad uses it for smaller hand tools like stubby screwdrivers. I'm not going to go through every tool I keep in my bag in this video. If you want to see a more detailed look at the tools, you can check out my last video that I'll link below. I don't really use the elastic loops to hold in any tools, but the three levels of pockets work good for different sized items and it keeps it well organized. The side pocket for a jab saw also works well. It seems to protect everything else from the blade and it will also keep the dust down. At the bottom, I keep a few cases for bits and backup screws. I also like to put my hammer down here so it helps center the bag and weigh it down. 
I also try and throw extra silica packets in with my tools to minimize any chance of rust. On the front side of the bag, there's only one row of pockets that are a little bit bigger than the back. And there's also a zipper pouch. It's really thin, so I just store some zip ties and a notebook. Instead of a tape measure clip, this side has a loop that you can store tape on. And it also has another side pocket, but instead of snacks, I usually just store a level in here. Although this bag is pretty bulky and get pretty heavy, I think the straps make it as comfortable as possible. They're wide, padded, and come with lots of loops. The sternum strap is also a nice addition, and the buckles seem strong enough but a metal one would be a nice upgrade. A lesser known feature about this bag is the suitcase strap underneath the shoulder straps. So if you're not going to attach it to a pack out, it can be secured to a standard suitcase handle. Now I want to focus on some of the features that I think make this bag one of the best on the market. The first thing I want to point out is pretty simple, but it makes the use of this bag much easier. It has two heavy duty handles. So the main benefit of this is that you can grab both handles and move the bag around even if it's not zipped up at all. These double handles make hanging it on a hook much more convenient too. I'm not worried about this handle failing and it creates a nice workstation to grab the tools from. Another simple yet important feature is the durability and shape of the pockets. I'm not worried about tools poking their way through anytime soon and I think tools in these pockets are much more secure than some of my other bags. In this Master Force bag, I think the pockets are too small for most of the tools, and on the inside, there aren't any good sized tool pockets for screwdrivers or pliers. For this cobalt tote, I think it's kind of the opposite story. The pockets are a little too short and too loose to securely hold any tools. And I also want to compare it to the 15 inch pack out bag. It only has one exterior pocket and nothing on the inside. So it really wouldn't be that good for hand tools. Now here's another thing that might not necessarily be a feature, but I like to store my tool belt around my bag. It helps keep it nice, and I can still use the handles to move it around. This is probably the best feature of getting a pack out backpack, how it can attach to every part of the system. So you can attach a half organizer and easily carry screws, or even make yourself a DIY backpack vacuum. I posted about this on my Instagram a while back. So make sure to check out the links in the description and follow my page. As much as I like my pack up backpack, I came up with 10 things that I think could be improved upon. Personally, I think these front loops are too small for basic items, like markers. They barely fit, and if they do, they seem to bend the shell a little bit. So either I think there could be varied loop sizes, or if the fabric was made slightly elastic. The straps have a lot of loops, but I would like to see some more go in the opposite direction. So items can be stored vertical rather than just horizontal. This improvement might be a little more complex than the others because of the packout integration but I think the base would be much more comfortable 
if it had a slight curve like other tool backpacks on the market. I mentioned how I like the hard pocket for the jab saw, but it's not uncommon to have more than one sharp tool. So if there was a symmetrical pocket for something else, like a chisel or scissors, I think that would be ideal. Something I use more than probably any tool is going to be my laptop. So to make this bag even better, a large protected sleeve for my laptop would be a much appreciated change. If you mainly use just a 13 inch laptop or just a tablet, this might not be that big of a deal to you, but I think it would still be valuable. The older job site bag had one, so why shouldn't the new and improved pack out one? Something else that might not apply to everyone is convenient charging. Many work or travel bags have an integrated USB port to carry a power bank on the inside and charge something on the outside. This DeWalt bag even has an included inverter. I really think Milwaukee is missing out on this one. Another simple improvement is to raise up this pouch. Where it is now is just low enough to get caught on things in the pockets below. I know I mentioned my snacks in these pockets earlier. But I do like to keep water with me, and with these current side pockets, it's not that easy. The pockets taper down and are not stretchy enough to easily accommodate bigger containers like a 32 ounce bottle. I really like the pockets on this backpack. They're really wide, tall, and have zippers so it stays secure. For my 10th improvement, I would want some way to hold a 2 foot level nicely. I like the way these elastic loops on this Master Force bag hold it, but the backpack isn't as long. I guess you could always just zip up a pocket around the level, or even put it in a side pocket, but I think there could be a better solution. All right, here's a bonus improvement idea. I attached a magnet on the other side of this pocket and it can hold bits nicely. So either some mounted magnets or just a smaller pocket that's easy to access would be a great addition to keep bits organized. Now it's time to rate this bag out of 10 in my three categories. So, after using this bag for more than a year, I've been very happy with it. But there's obviously still some room for improvement. So, for now, I'm rating the features of this bag at 7.5 out of 10. I'm evaluating the quality on how everything has held up for me so far, and also the general feedback from Home Depot online reviews. I think the material choices are well thought out for this bag. So, overall, it gets a 9 out of 10 for the quality. And the final category is pricing. This one was tricky because there are great alternatives at lower prices as well as higher end options too. But at its current price of 119 the quality and value are both high, so it gets a 9 out of 10. If you're patient like me, maybe you'll even score it on sale like I did for below $100. As I mentioned earlier, this job site backpack is now my dad's. He's definitely a little jealous it doesn't attach to a stack like mine. So I made this pack out add-on creation. This pack doubles as a tool tray and backpack adapter. By putting the straps around the vacuum, I found that it makes it even more secure.
I wanted to make this build as simple as possible. So I used the scrap half inch plywood I had and assembled it with 18 gauge brad nails and some glue. Once again, I used hot glue to attach the feet and then screwed them in after for more strength. Thanks for checking out my review and my sixth Pegout add on creation today. If you got this far, I'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and commented below what you thought. I hope to see you in the next one.